Hi, what's up? Um, African over here highlighting the fact that this man that you love so much from America, uh, not from America, from Kenya, but that's an American citizen now, Prophet Lovi, he looks no different. Um, the noise outside is going to mess with my acoustics, uh, acoustics, you know that. But anyway, whatever. This, uh, like, uh, Prophet Lovi guy that, that you love in the US. I'm coming from an African vantage point. Christians in Africa that are really truly consecrated and don't allow themselves to be taken away by the tsunami of these prophets all over the show that capitalize on, uh, on African sorrow and poverty. We know that Lovi is just like a, a charlatan. He, he, he is a charlatan. He is a charlatan. Like, Prophet Lovi is Bushiri. Like in the worst way, if, if you go and you look at Bushiri, if you know who Bushiri is and you have rightly written him off as a false prophet, you will be able to identify U Bushiri in Prophet Lovi. He is, he likely even got uh, his demonic powers from Africa. He probably went to Nanakwaku there in Ghana. Uh, it's unlikely that he got them from America because Americans aren't quite on that bandwagon yet. It's an African disease. These pastors that use sorcery power to slay people in the spirit uh, it's largely an african disease mostly and if you are from kenya like prophet lovi is you probably got it from kenya you probably got it from somewhere in africa or ghana you probably went to visit some hard knock satanist um to give you mad uh, power to do certain rituals uh, and call them god's miracles uh, in the church uh, type establishment thing so it, it's men like like prophet lovi that have caused africa Africans, not Africans, sorry, Americans, uh, to continue with this random, strange little doctrine that they believe. Um, and but largely, I also believe, I don't know what in the world is happening. This guy's making so much noise with the hose pipe, but I prefer it when the doors open. However, let's just continue because then it, you know. In terms of sound, this is better. Anyway, yes, men like Prophet Lovi are the reason why m m more people in increasing number look at my life like I need to go and see a prophet. Like I need to go and see a somebody type of establishment thing. But guys, eh, there's a man of God, not a man of God, there's a man in the scriptures that went to go and see a prophet because his life really sucked. And he indeed found a solution. And when he got to that prophet, the prophet was kind of like, Oh, what do you want from me? Uh, okay, this is what you must do. Long story short, God sends prophets to people. He does not send people to prophets. Largely, if people go to prophets, they tend to be a little bit of a bugaboo. A bugaboo. A prophet is not to be petitioned like he is omniscient or omnipotent. He is given understanding by God and then he goes to the people. So I've had some dude come to me on Facebook and try and get a prophecy out of me. And I was so annoyed. I was so irritated that I rebuked him like harshly because he could tell from my videos that I am, I have somewhat of a prophetic gifting. I was like, I'm not a medium. I'm not a psychic. I'm not omniscient. Where it is that you find people that have got what appears to be knowledge about everybody is within those occult circles. Prophets of God are given a message over a town and then they go there or a village or a country and then they go to that country and they say what they need to say and then they break away. They give whatever solution is needed, is, is um, awarded them by God and then they break away. Uh, but every so often kings will summon for them. And when the kings summon for them, that's when they're either agitated or they're put in a bunch because they know they're not omniscient. They're not omnipotent. They have fear that they might not do what is right. I'll give you a couple of, 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 of examples in these scriptures. Okay. Let us look first at Nebuchadnezzar. All right. With his many ma magicians and sorcerers after getting that very troublesome dream. He called all the, I guess, dudes who have got oracles from above into his environment and told them, you're going to die. If you don't tell me what I need to know, I don't remember my dream and you are going to tell me what it is. Daniel, I believe that, must, that, that that was a prophet of God, was freaking out. He was like, God, I'm going to die. This guy wants me to tell him his dream. I don't know. I don't know. That's the humility that true prophets of God come with. They are not omniscient. They don't operate like Tyler Henry, who have celebrities going to him and he is able to tell them everything that they ate for breakfast in 1984. They are not supposed to be omniscient. So if a person is walking in what appears to be omniscience, <laughs> they've got a familiar spirit that's telling them things. A holy God does not download all the information that could possibly be understood into the minds of his prophets. He downloads what he will, that his purposes may be fulfilled through the ministry of this prophet. 
So sometimes he knows, sometimes he doesn't. And oftentimes when you then tap on the shoulder of a prophet, go out of your way to tap and be like, hey, what did God say? Hey, what did God say? Hey, you are burdening this human being with omnipotent omniscience as a gift. They will not know everything about everyone in this room. So people who establish churches and call themselves prophets and come to me, all of y'all, who want to hear a word from God because the Lord downloads content into my understanding. Goodness gracious, prophets are sent out. They don't bring people to them. The only time that people come to them is when they stand on a rooftop, a mountaintop, a, a hill over a city and they're like, this is what the Lord says about all of y'all or he knocks on the door of a king and says this is what the lord gotta say about what you're doing but rarely ever does he set up a base camp and then say come as many as you want to come and if it is possible with a fee of ten dollars to hear what the lord has to say about you without him knowing who in the world is going to be sent him and what in the world is going on with them because mankind is born with eternity on their hearts however because they don't want god because they're sinners they will always want to know supernaturally what's going on they will always want to hear what a psychic has to say about them up there that's why they're obsessed with the occult with tarot cards with astrology astro uh, with um it is astrology right astronomy is is the science whereas astronomy is the occult stuff they will always be uh, addicted to um mediums uh, psychics uh, soothsayers people who interpret omens uh who f like gauge the weather to figure out what's going on with your chakras and us whatever people are addicted to that kind of stuff because they're selfish they're greedy and they want to find god out himself the glory of god is to conceal a matter and the glory of man is to search it out so we have got to search god out we've got to find him and there's only one place to find him the scriptures there's only one place to find him through his son jesus only one way but people want you know a quick win of figuring out what in the world is going on tomorrow and so they go to somebody who a familiar spirit is going to give a false prophecy to uh by by some and, and they will believe this familiar spirit because they that familiar spirit will have confirmed something that happened in the past devils are ancient they've been around for a minute and they've been watching you literally since the day you came out of your mama's womb not you know they watched you inside your mama womb i've got 10 percent remaining so this is the last part they will watch you inside your mama's womb do you understand so they have understanding in a way that you don't however they're not omniscient they've just been gathering data and unlike you they don't have memory loss they remember everything that they've seen so they communicate through these uh, men and women who call themselves prophets of God. You therefore must be very, 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 very careful when you're in the presence of somebody that has set up base camp and a tent of some sort and written on the top of the prophet and said, come to me to get a prophecy about your life. They're not operating in biblical um, prophetic gifting. Prophets of old, and I will explain this in the next part. I'm running on low battery, but guess what? I've got my iPhone and it doesn't have much space in it, but at least I've got like four or five videos that I can get out of it. Let's use my iPhone that does not have the same stunts as this Android machine. Okay, next part.